everybody. It's Deb from Dandy Art Gallery. Today I have a 12 by 12 inch gallery wrap canvas and I'm going to do a ring pour on it. And let's go over my paints. My first paint is a new paint I just picked up today. It's Modern Masters Metallics and it is a Venetian blue and it's a very, very pretty color. I'm going to show you the, the bottle here. And my next color is a combination of Liquitex Basic Silver and another uh, new paint. It's Folk Art uh, Pure Pigment, Pure Artist Pigment it's called. And when it comes out of this little bottle, it is, it's almost like a heavy body uh, paint out of a tube. It's pretty thick. And I did um, add quite a bit of silver to this. And let me show you that color right away. Very pretty. And it is quite a um, concentrated pigment on that. And here's, here's, I just leave a little mound here, or a little trace, I should say. Tried to leave it a little bit on the thicker side for the ring pour today. My next color is the Deco Art Metallics. And this is Warren Penny. My next color is a combination of the um, Folk Art Treasure Gold Platinum. And I wanted to darken that up a little bit, so I used some of the um, Amsterdam Payne's Gray. Added those two together. And again, I'll show you that color. I just wanted to darken that up just a tad and it gave me this really pretty gray color here. Okay, my next color is Rust-Oleum Metallic Accents Harbor Sky. Very pretty. Lighter blue. And my last color is Extreme Sheen by DecoArt The Peridot. And my base coat today is Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White. And it is mixed a little bit with the Rust-Oleum Metallic Accents uh, White Pearl. Just to give it a little bit of bling. So my pouring medium today is two parts Floetrol, one part paint, squirt of GAC 800. But I did add about a teaspoon of the golden uh, pouring medium gloss today, a little bit different. And I did thin um, my base coat with a little bit of water. So let's get started. I'm just going to layer this in a, one cup here and I might as well put it in the middle. And we'll just get started with layering and I think I will start and I'm just going to pour it down the side today and I think I will add a little bit of the white too right away Very pretty colors, all of them. That peridot, very pretty. There's that worn penny. Here's this new blue color. It's just, it's just very, very pretty. I, and this, my base coat was some leftover paint and I had marked on the bottle that there was a little bit of enamel in this too, enamel paint. So we'll see if we get any of the cloudy effect or I'm not sure how much enamel really was in there. So we'll just have to see what, uh, what comes up with that.
in no particular order with my paints. No silicone added today, so I'm not really expecting any cells. Just a little bit more paint here, and then I'll add the white on the top. Let's see if I want to do a little bit of this color yet. And now some white. And I will put a little bit of white down to start. Just a little puddle of white, just to help the paint move. Okay, so let's get, I'll move my paints out of the way here. Again, this is a 12 by 12 inch canvas. So I'm just going to start pouring now. A lot of metallics in this pour today. I see that that Peridot coming up there. And here comes some of the white. And I think I will stop it here. I don't think I need any more paint. Okay, because I'm already dribbling off the side here. And I'm going to take my skewer and I'm just going to um, run the blunt end in the middle here to fix up that last bit of my circle there. Very pretty colors, beautiful. Let it sit there a minute and give it a torch. I just did make these paints up, so I am going to get some air bubbles here. Okay, just going to start to. Uh, Tilt in a circular pattern here. Go over this edge and bring it back. And now I'll go over this edge. And bring it back. Fixing my corners as I go here. Okay. Bring it back right into the middle here. 
and I will get this corner down, my this square corner here, and bring it back. And I will get the last corner. And bring it back. Okay, I'm going to take a look at it now. I think these colors are, are very, very beautiful. Okay, the only thing I may want to do is tip it a little bit more down to this corner, very carefully. Okay, and bring it back. And I do have something in my painting here, and I'm going to get it out right away. Okay, I'm going to do a little bit more tipping here. going to take a look at it now and I'm going to clean off the bottom while I'm looking at it here these colors just played so pretty together and I'm going to um, I'm going to give this a torch. just going to tilt it a little bit more here just till I'm really satisfied with it Just still have something in here. Not sure what that is. I'm going to try and just tilt that off a little bit and then bring it back. Okay, that's better. Now bring it down a little bit. It does not have to be exactly centered, but I do like it like that. Okay. Just, I really, really like this painting. Very pretty, very shiny. And I will have to show it in a few videos after it's dry. These colors just turned out so well together. So I'm going to bring you down for a close up. OK, 
Okay, everybody, here's our close-up. This is the upper left-hand corner, and you can really see the shimmer on this painting. The greens that came through and the blue, it's so pretty. This is just down the left-hand side. Very, very pretty in here. You can see some of that worn penny and the greens. Very pretty. A few little cells from the enamel paint, but not much. And then I will take you up the middle. Very pretty in there. And I, I do like these fingers. Very pretty with the... Uh, that uh, worn penny <clears throat> around them. Excuse me. And here's the center. It's up, that's cute, some little blue cells there. Here's the upper right hand corner. Very, very flashy and shiny and very pretty. And I liked how I like how distinct these lines are too. I really like this part of the painting. Really like it there. And here's the lower right hand corner. So let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video and share it. Make sure you ring the bell, choose all, so you know the next time I do post a new video. I want to thank everybody for watching. And until next time, take care, everybody. Bye for now.